so for us it was it was never kind of in our ideas to move um, we've got great neighbors across the road we've got great neighbors next door just around the corner from our kids school um, lovely new house we just needed that little bit more space um, we had the traditional third box room for our littlest and as he grows up he'll need more space so we needed that extra room and the loft was the place <music> I think for me, I needed to, to trust the people that were doing it. I needed to kind of have their expertise because I'm not very like DIY minded and I wouldn't, uh, you know, you could tell me it's a gable end or a loft hoist in thing and I wouldn't have a clue. So someone who knew what they were talking about, but I could trust that they weren't trying to like spin me a yarn, that if they told me that was the best thing, I totally believed in them. And you pick up on that really quickly. Like, you know when someone's, when someone's spinning you yeah, a line. And I never got that, never got that. So the first time I was visited, I was really impressed because the aim that I'd got for the loft conversion was relatively small compared to what I could have had. And so our, our plan for the loft totally changed based on advice we were given. So, we went from one bedroom and an ensuite to a bedroom, a dressing room and an ensuite, which has totally opened up the space up here. And it's it's kind of shown me that anything is possible. Um, other companies had quoted us beforehand and said, you know, it's not possible because we're a timber framed house. And that that never entered the equation. From the moment, the moment that I had the, the first meeting, it was, yep, yeah, we can do this. Have you thought about this? It was, it was dream making stuff rather than a, yeah, you can just have that. It was a, why haven't you thought about, you could have this and what do you think to this? And yeah, proper exciting stuff from the moment it came in. So from kind of the first meeting to kind of follow up sessions, I felt 100% like I trusted everyone that I spoke to. Um, every kind of tradesman, every builder, just everyone seemed like they knew what they were doing, that they were interested and kind of passionate about what they were doing, that they wanted the best for, for our home and for our loft. And actually, from even just like the brochure and the email, I got that, which I didn't get from other companies. From that kind of first, a, here's what you can have meeting, I thought, yeah, this is a company that's excited in what they're doing. They want the best for me. They're not just in it for a, a quick buck and kind of do it in a way. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's strange to say, but I, I loved it. <laughs> you know, it was like I would go to work and I'd come back and there'd be something new for me to be like really impressed by. Um, I struggled to say, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't know that we were having like massive amounts of building work. Everything was just kind of, kind of seamless. So yeah, really pleased with it. So uh, everyone I met, everyone who worked on the job was just really, really friendly. Um, Charlie, our project manager, was constantly kind of pointing out things that they still needed to do and kind of allaying our fears and saying, well, we'll sort that, we'll sort this, and this is the next step, where uh, we had the chance for a couple of options. And Charlie would say, you know, you can either have this or you can have this. And he kind of read that blank look on my face as if I'm not quite sure what decision to make here. I would say, what would you think? And he would go, well, if it was my house, this is what I'd have. So <laughs> that was our kind of, you're doing the right thing by making that decision conversation. But yeah, um, every tradesman that came in, really, really helpful, really good. So uh, from kind of the scaffolding going up to building, I think it was three and a half weeks. And then with the tradesman afterwards, to kind of get it into a, a, a living, kind of shell that we could then start decorating and painting, I think was about five weeks. So yeah, really quick. The neighbors around were really impressed when they were like, are you up there now? We keep seeing lights on. And I was like, yeah, we're up there. We're just decorating. Yeah, really, really quick. So 
yeah, we uh, used some of the bathroom discounts for our ensuite um, because we have certain requirements in the fact that I'm quite tall. It was really important that we had a slightly bigger shower. And yeah, um, we used the discounts, we got money off. It was quick delivery as well. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I was really impressed with the the WhatsApp group between uh, the project manager and yourself and us and the kind of update pictures were great because it meant that we could help make decisions and we could kind of be consulted and if things were being delivered then we could be told about that and yeah absolutely I, never at any point did I feel like I didn't know what was going on I could tell anyone oh we're having this done today or we're having that done today or yeah it was it was like being a part of the team only not doing anything. <laughs> so I'd love to say my bedroom because it's it's nice and big and it's nice and bright and it's nice and airy. But and it sounds really weird, the new set of stairs that comes up to the loft is my favourite place because in the morning it's just flooded with sunlight and it's just the most perfect little place because you come off the, the landing and you take the corner up to the loft you know you're getting ready to go somewhere great and we've got that little ledge with uh, some vases and some fairy lights so even at night when it's dark you kind of know that you come into something special and then you go up you've got some pictures on the walls and then you just come in here so yeah it, I'm, it's difficult to say oh I'd use the now the new set of stairs but actually that's the kind of bit that sets me quite excited about seeing the rest of it so that little bit I think I'd recommend well no I would recommend DJ more lofts because from start to finish it was it was seamless and it was like we were in control but without needing to necessarily know anything um, totally kept informed but it was like having a team working for you, but knowing what they wanted was always best for you. you know, never at one point did I think that people were gonna choose things that weren't best for me. They were always bad for me. <laughs> <laughs>